Well, I could only speak from experience. I love talking about this because it was definitely quite the journey. Um, but so we're talking about like, if you have, let's say your personal brand, and then you have like your company website, right? Is that what you're talking about? Would you still recommend though, let's say on your personal brand, you're talking about whatever it is that you're talking about. And then on your company, we'll call it Instagram. Should it still be you? Should it be someone else? Like what, what is it that you, like, should, should it still be the same person? Because I am a firm believer that people will relate, even if it's a business brand, they relate to the person more than they do to the business. Mm. What do you think about that? I do. I, I love that. Now, here's the way to begin to think about it. If you build a personal brand, when you go to talk business with people, you know, you've done it right when they go, man, I, I, I'm good. I already know. I know you. I know you're going to do it right. I, I feel, you know, they've watched your stuff and you've built trust within that individual. You've done your personal brand right there. Where people get confused, though, is they go over to your company page and they see things from your personal brand that don't have to do with the company that you thought was cool. And people start to get into the fact that, well, look, this reel, this short that I did over here on my personal page, it's getting a lot of views and traction. Let me put it over here to Blue Collar Media Group page, and that way I start to get eyeballs on the Blue Collar Media Group, even though it has to do with, as I said earlier, let's say a motivational piece or a podcast piece that I do out there on the Patrick Carr Show. And I'm like, this is funny. I got one coming out today. It talks about me having used to have a comb over um, and how I shaved my head because I got tired of looking on camera right here and seeing it like thinning out. And it was in a podcast with the Roof Gallery up in Georgia. It's a funny clip. And I'm so tempted to put it over there to Blue Collar Media. I want to. But that has nothing to do with Blue Collar Media Group. It has to do with the Patrick Carr Show and a personal brand that I'm having over here. <laughs> you cannot confuse these two for the purpose of vanity. And we, get, we, we act like it doesn't matter. But when you get something that you like and you start getting a little bit of traction on it, you want to confuse them both. And so what I want to do is help give your audience the tools to draw that line in the sand. When do we go one way? When do we go the another? So absolutely, be your own, be your person that represents your company. But make sure when you're representing your company, you're representing it, not this personal brand that you want to build over here, whatever that might be. There are a few people who can do it both. There's Josh Bigger up there, uh, up there in Canada who does an amazing job but they're very rare that you're going to be able to separate them for your for your audience. I'm laughing my ass off because I have my my people, you know, we started the commercial claims show and commercial claims advocate and for me that was just a dream of mine of of finding a way to just create a book, create a course have it sell online so that I could travel the world. That was kind of the original idea, right? But, you know, obviously I have a public adjusting firm as well, and it has been very, very difficult. Now, they're each their own company, but it has been extremely difficult to kind of like bring them together. It's the same industry, but one is education and products, Another one is claims and a service. So it's like, it's, it's, and, and they keep, I keep want, I keep telling them, I keep telling the team for like the last three years, it's the same thing. Why don't we just blend it? It should be here. And they're just like, no, like right now it doesn't make sense. We cannot have commercial claims advocate on an elite resolution, not only not on, an, on an elite resolutions website, not only are they different colors, but we're speaking to two completely different audiences, which is where we get the, which is where it becomes difficult because although it's about public adjusting and it's about claims, the only people who are really interested in the commercial claim show are public adjusters, contractors, attorneys, because that's the information. That's what I'm talking to. But the content that we, that we are still in the process of creating for elite resolutions, a public adjusting firm has to be geared towards homeowners, business owners, real estate investors, and people who own property. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. It ain't easy. It's not easy.